Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are looking at writing a letter for the GCSE English Language Paper 2. So when writing a letter, you need to include the following. The use of addresses. A date. A formal mode of address if required. So for example, dear sir slash madam or a named recipient. Effectively fluently sequenced paragraphs and a sign off with yours sincerely or yours faithfully. Now looking at how to organize a letter, as you can see on the right hand side, you will have your name on the first line followed by your address, followed by your postcode. Now for the exam, you can make this up. Okay, it doesn't have to be real. And just beneath that, you will have today's date in full. So for today, you would write Wednesday the 5th of April 2023 so you'd highlight you would write the full date and underline it and on the left hand side just below the full date on the left hand side you will have the recipient's name followed by the recipient's address followed by the recipient's postcode now again this can be made up following that just beneath that when writing a letter you must begin with dear and if you have a name known, you will mention the name. So if it's the head teacher of your school, you'll write the name of your head teacher. Or it could be unknown. So if it's unknown, you would just write dear sir slash madam. Make sure you include a comma. And then after that, you'll indent and write your paragraphs as per usual. So this is persuasive writing. So you still need to make sure you're using a variety of language techniques. You're using extensive and ambitious use of vocabulary, etc. And then towards the end, when you conclude your letter, you will end it with either yours sincerely or yours faithfully. And then you would need a comma and then your full name. Now, we would use yours sincerely if you know the person you're writing to. If you know the name, you would use yours faithfully if you don't know the name. So in simple terms, an easy way to remember is if you're writing dear sir slash madam, you will end it with yours faithfully. So this is how you would structure your formal letter. Now, this may come up in your exams this year, so it's important you know the structure and what you need to do in terms of writing a letter. And this is, again, found from the specification and it's something that you have to follow when preparing for letter writing. So just to recap, the use of addresses, a date, a formal mode of address if required, effectively fluently sequenced paragraphs. So when you are planning, you need to make sure each paragraph, they link and they flow from one paragraph to another. And finally, you sign off correctly with either yours sincerely or yours faithfully. And that takes us towards the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like and share for more education related videos. Thank you.